Excuse me? What did you just say? Did you just say... Hello friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back where we talk all things health and wellness. And I am currently kind of on a series of talking about fertility, infertility, secondary infertility, and sharing a little bit of our infertility story. Um, and I just wanted to compare my experiences with a NAPRO technology doctor and a fertility clinic. I just wanted to emphasize that this is just my story and my experience. It doesn't mean that everyone who needs to utilize the fertility clinic will have negative experience like I did. So if you haven't heard of NAPRO technology, it is basically a natural procreative technology and um, it's scientifically based and it just basically works with your body to um, help achieve pregnancy. And um, I just wanted to share briefly a little bit. You do take a class um, just to kind of help yourself learn your body better. Um, to help achieve pregnancy. Um, along with the NAPRO technology, they've used the Creighton model system and that's just a way of tracking your cycle. And with that, they can detect things such as cancer really early on just by the way you're tracking. The Creighton model system is scientifically sound, accurate, precise, and effective. It can be used to achieve and avoid pregnancy or in the further evaluation of infertility, repetitive miscarriage, abnormal bleeding, recurrent ovarian cysts, pelvic pain, menstrual syndrome, etc. I just highly recommend it if you are near anyone who does the Creighton model, you just kind of learn to track um, your like mucus cycle is what you basically focus on. And you have a teacher and then you like attend a class and then every few weeks and then eventually every few months they will check in with you and check your chart and make sure that you're understanding everything correctly and um, tracking correctly. Your Creighton teacher, also called the Creighton practitioner, is just like an extra support and encouragement alongside you along this journey and I just love that part as well. And the NAPRO technology doctor can evaluate that and diagnose and um, understand so many different things about where your body's at and what may be able to help. Um, and so the other just huge part of it is I just felt like a human being and a unique individual versus just um, my experience with the fertility clinic. And um, we did end up moving and we were not near any fertility clinic and we were referred to a local fertility uh, clinic by our local OBGYN for, and midwifery group here. And um, I was very discouraged and disappointed by my experience there. She was asking about the OBGYN that we had worked with prior and I was saying that he doesn't do IVF for any of that. And she was like, oh, well then he's not a fertility doctor. Is that the only thing that defines a fertility doctor? Um, I said, actually, he um, is a NAPRO technology doctor. Have you heard of that? It basically works with your body um, to help achieve pregnancy. And I feel like she just kind of blew me off. And um, then I was also explaining that we have been blessed with some children. And if it gets to the point where you would recommend that we need IVF or something like that, we are not interested because we have already been blessed with some children. And we, all, we already know just a few little things that can help for us. Um, just in it to the point that we don't really feel like we need that and she said well then why are you here hmm I just felt really kind of discouraged by that I think too it's just an understanding that this is all that they're trained in all that they know to do are the major interventions they don't know any way of maybe naturally trying first of working with your body to help things. Um, all that they know is to go to the bigger interventions. So um, just having that understanding kind of helps in a way too, but it was just overall kind of a rough experience. Just especially in comparison to the NAPRO technology doctors, and again, I can put the link down below if you're interested um, in connecting with one of them. And the, a lot of them do do telemedicine health, so even if you aren't close to one, you could possibly um, get help that way. And there are a lot of tests and things that they can do um, long 
distance or via mail or what have you. So um, that is an encouragement as well. I just love how much they value life. That's one other thing I wanted to mention. Like we got so much help and intervention and testing after one miscarriage. Um, because of how much they value life, even though they were saying that insurance doesn't want to start paying for anything until you've had three miscarriages. It's like, I'm sorry, we're not going to help you until you've lost three of your children. It's just something really hard to go through. And so I just really appreciate being supported by doctors who value life.